What can I say about Laura? Mother, daughter, sister, friend, advocate, and mentor. The video we've just seen showcases the many ways Laura excelled in her career and in service. I speak not only as family member and friend this evening, but also as a woman celebrating Women's History Month and the power of women. It is important, thank you. We only got 23 hours this year, ladies. I'm just saying. Because it, um, it is important before I introduce tonight's honoree to tell you about Laura beyond the headlines. The word mentor is used so often to describe Laura, but I want to share a better word for her, and that is sponsor. Working women these days are less enthusiastic about the word mentor. It may seem like semantics to most of you in this room. But think of this. Have you ever considered someone in your life a mentor who perhaps didn't even know that they were? I watched a lot of years of Oprah. Oprah is my mentor. Oprah does not know who I am. <laughs> Have you read a self-help book or emulated an icon in your life? That is a mentor. Sponsorship is admittedly the new buzzword and perhaps not all that different on the surface, Yet sponsorship demands action. Sponsor another and put your skin in her game. Her survival and success are a reflection on us as sponsors, so we work harder. Laura Ditka was the consummate sponsor in everything that she did. She lived in the trenches with her victims, carrying them through their pain and suffering on her own shoulders. Sadly, she sacrificed her own self-care as a result, and we lost her far too soon. She treated all victims and their support teams equally as important, with dignity and care as if they were her family. And let me assure you, being in Laura's family was a gift that her circle misses every single day. Tonight, we present the Laura Ditka Award for Advocacy and Service. Knowing the magnitude of Laura's legacy meant finding a hidden treasure in our community to honor. Diamonds are hard to unearth because they are so often deeply buried. They start as coal and endure unspeakable pressure to become something very precious. Enter the nomination of Stephanie Fox for the award. When I read, thank you, yes. When I read Corey Sanders' words, I was overwhelmed not just by Stephanie's accomplishments, but her unique thrival story. Never heard of a thrival story? Urban Dictionary describes, defines thrival as an adjective for looking beyond your soul into the deepness of society's problems, sacrificing yourself, and going beyond one's comfort zone in order to help the people around you. I could talk for hours about Stephanie's history. She's a survivor of domestic abuse. Stephanie knows firsthand how it feels to flee a war zone to protect herself and her four children. She lost numerous jobs and it, as she attended court hearings to keep her safe, family safe. Scars, surgeries, chronic pain are just a few of the daily reminders of terror. Yet Stephanie got herself and her kids out saved her career, and moved through that time with grace. If her story ended there, we would give her a standing ovation. This alone is an incredible surprise story, am I right? Plot twist, here's where it becomes a thrival story. Just getting through wasn't enough for Stephanie. In her own words, no little girl imagines this path when they dream of their lives and their futures. An empathetic spirit, Stephanie felt the pain of her peers as she began to dig her own way out. She saw cracks in the system. She worked for radical change in the treatment of victims, ranging from dignified shelters, which she built, and job protection, which our mayor has guaranteed. She studied the system. She networked, lobbied, and constantly learned. She gained strength in telling her story in her own way. I had the pleasure of meeting Stephanie a few weeks ago so I could speak authentically about her tonight, which was very important to my whole family. 
Her energy is positively palpable and contagious. We talked for hours, yet I crave more. I'm not sure that you sleep, Stephanie. But to be honest, your current to-do list keeps growing by moment in your effort to lift other domestic abuse survivors to their own success, which is commendable. Stephanie wants more than protection for her victims. She wants dignity for them, for pride and courage through their next steps, for more than surviving, but thriving themselves. Stephanie puts her own time, money, and energy on the line every day as an advocate and sponsor, and our family could not think of a more deserving recipient. I'm gonna let Stephanie speak for herself at this point, but on behalf of Cribs for Kids and the Ditka family, it is my honor to present Stephanie Fox with the Laura Ditka Award for Advocacy and Service. You are a sponsor, a champion, and now my friend.